Rag, 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 rag League Podcast. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your family, tell your haters. Available on Google Podcasts, Anchor, Breaker, Radio Public, and Stitcher at Rec League Podcast on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram at Rec League Pod on Twitter. Episode 21 coming soon. Yo, whether you watching this from Facebook, Twitter, click the link in my Instagram or YouTube itself. What up, world? So I just watched Stuber. It is the new kind of buddy cop kind of just uber promotional movie starring um dave bautista kumail nanjiani mira sorvino um natalie morales karen gillen Iko uwais and uh i'm forgetting somebody i know i'm forgetting somebody it's directed by michael douse who did uh the first goon movie the hockey movie with sean william scott and he did Take Me Home Tonight with uh, Topher Grace, Anna Ferris, and Dan Fogler. If you want to get a shout out in my review of The Lion King, stay tuned to the end of the video to figure out how you can do that. There is Kumail Nanjiani, who I have been rocking with since like Franklin and Bash. Some of y'all might have to Google that to know what I'm talking about. And then he and he left that and did uh, Silicon Valley on HBO. But I'm already getting off track. He works He works at like a sporting goods store. And um, his boss is Jimmy Tastro. But he moonlights as an Uber driver. Dave Bautista is a cop. And there, there's a prelude that gets the whole plot rolling in motion. And it sets up the majority of the movie. There's a prelude. There's a time jump. And Dave Bautista has like a physical disability impairment. That he can't do his his job on his own, so he needs he he calls an Uber. Kumail Nanjiani obviously is his Uber driver, and his character's name is Stu. That's where the title comes from, Stuber. And that he basically Dave Bautista basically chases bad guys while Kumail Nanjiani chases him around. I was I was wishy washy. Going into this one, like the trailers were fine. Where there, you know, there's there's a part where they're in like a warehouse. Kumail Nanjiani grabs a phone. It doesn't like it doesn't do what he thinks it's gonna do. That was kind of funny. But with that said, I think the funniest parts of the movie were in the trailers. I w- I was adamantly let down by this movie. But the th- the crowd in the theater that I was in were laughing a lot. So. Maybe it's me, cause it's it's kind of like Child's Play. Like everybody I've heard react to Child's Play liked it way more than I did, and I'm like the black sheep that just didn't like it. I didn't like this, and it's it's not a bad movie. I just for a comedy, I just didn't laugh. It wanted to be like a Lethal Weapon, a Bad Boys, a Rush Hour, where you have two cops who or you have two people in the situation chasing the bad guy who have totally opposite personalities and Dave Bautista is the tough badass cop shows no emotion does the job you know great cop bad parent and Kumail Nanjiani is basically a human walking Twitter infomercial don't say that. It's offensive. Oh, no, you're a cop. I'm a person of color. You're racist. Uh, just every everything that people get triggered on in Twitter is Kumail Nanjiani's character in human form. It was funny at first, and then it just got super annoying. It got super obnoxious. And let me see. There is There is one fight that is pretty funny, but even that scene ran on for too long. I wanted to like this movie, man. Like I really wanted to love this movie. And like there are mo- there are good moments. Like it's not a bad movie. I just I don't think the chemistry was there between the two leads like I hoped it was going to be. And I just I just left the theater disappointed. There there's a plot twist that I saw coming. It wasn't as as obvious as the Men in Black International plot twist, but it was obvious. Um 
a couple good shootouts. Eco Uwais is wasted. That joke, as lame as it was, was funnier than most of what was in this movie. Um, he was in mile 22. He whooped ass in mile 22. And he's, he does it. He gets two scenes in an hour and a half movie to show off his fight set, his, his fighting skill set. And you just, you needed more. From a dude that is like the next Jackie Chan, you needed more because he's a beast. Eco Uwais is a beast. There's nothing else to really say. I just, I was bummed that I didn't die laughing in this movie. For, like, the title is the funniest part of this movie, man. And the, jo and it com the joke comes from the lamest character. There's, there's uh, Kevin from Shameless in this movie, who's in, like, one, maybe two scenes. He, um, the chick, not Allison Brie, but the other, like, lead chick from Glow is in this. She was also in Nurse Jackie. She's also in a trailer that I saw before this movie called The Hunt. That's also produced by Bloomhouse that just looks like The Purge in an alternate universe. And, like, she, like, her character... Like, Kumail Nanjiani's character needs to, something to do to try to get away from the reckless, hot-headed cop. And that's that's all she is. She she FaceTimes him, talking about come through, and he's trying to get away and just never can. And But other than that, there's, like, no purpose for her character. Um... I, I don't know maybe for maybe character development as thinly as I can say that for for the, the Uber driver character just know like if you want to see this go see it form your own opinion this is just my opinion in my opinion I will say that Stuber is almost solid um I haven't I haven't given very many scores this year under a three, so this is towards the bottom of my favorite movies of the year list, and like it's just, it bums me out for for like the script wasn't that good. I'm saying like the dialogue wasn't funny, and like that's what killed the movie for me. Being an action buddy cop comedy movie, it just like all buddy cops are all buddy cop movies are action comedies. Even as serious as like Lethal Weapon or B B uh, Beverly Hills Cop or Bad Boys, and the humor didn't land in this. I I, I don't want to harp on the same things, so I'll cut it out like that. Have you seen Stuber yet, man? What did you think about it? Positive, negative, somewhere in between. Let me know. If you want that shout out in my Lion King review. What will the top five be at the box office this weekend? Get your guesses in by noon, Central Time, Sunday. Um, five in order, as you place them, one through five, five through one. However they place is what your guesses must be. You must be 100% correct. Um, and you get shouted next weekend. I've literally just posted a review for Crawl. I have a Spider-Man Far From Home review recently done uh toy story child's play shaft men in black uh x-men secret life of pets everything that come out in june that i saw is uploaded on my channel uh reg league podcast episode 21 i'm gonna talk to movie collectors a few movie collectors and just i have i have a list of, of questions i'm gonna ask a few to to each guest uh me and a couple homies are going to cover nba free agency um and then and then hopefully we'll talk about i'll talk about revenge of the dreamers with legacy uh stay tuned man that that episode will be up in the next day or two man like subscribe comment find me where you find me man I don't know where to find me watch these credits peace